The changing fall colors means the winemakers at Bonobo Winery are hard at work bringing in the first harvest of the season. For this week's Brewvine, photojournalist Jeremy Erickson and I stopped by their tasting room to see what the grapes they're harvesting now will look like next spring. We always think of Traverse City being such a summer destination, but actually October is the busiest month for wineries and not necessarily during the week, it's usually on the weekend. <laughs> so we really get crazy on a Friday and a Saturday just with the amount of people that are coming through. And then if this weather maintains, it's gonna be beautiful. On top of the busy tasting room at Bonobo Winery, the winemakers are gearing up to harvest the first wave of fruit to make one popular style of wine. We do all our sparkling in a traditional method. So what that means is we'll ferment it downstairs in the tanks and then we'll re-ferment it in the bottle. And so it's actually going to sit in the bottle for over nine months before we actually bring it out to the public. But in the harvest sense, because everything starts in the vineyard, right? And, and we'll do that harvest, we're going to start that next week, which is about um, a month to six weeks earlier than you do for still wine. The perfect example of their vibrant sparkling wines is their 2019 Sparkling Rosé. It is a uh, dry style, and um, with that we have a combination of Pinot Noir, Chardonnay and Pinot Meunier in there for the grapes and that's going to give that expression and the beautiful thing about this is we poured this a little bit ago but you can still see the bubbles that are coming up very nicely and that's a really good indication of the style and a good indication of a nice good sparkling where you can continue to drink this and watch that just develop all the way through and give a great expression. You can order a glass of Bonobo still or sparkling wine while you enjoy the beautiful vineyard view. You can also enhance your experience with a VIP wine pairing. There's many ways to get involved at the winery, not only just coming and having a great, great time, getting a glass pour, have a conversation with your friends, but you can do a reservation for tastings if you want to, to step that up. And then you can step that up a little bit more by doing a VIP pairing where we pair three courses of food with three great wines. For Brewvine on Old Mission Peninsula, I'm Whitney Amen.